Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of arc. A for arc, B for basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. The island, it's a dangerous place. It's filled with all sorts of wonderful creatures. From the lowest Pegomastax to the biggest Rex and Giganotosaurus. And today we're going to be discussing a few of them. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Foo, and we're going to be discussing the top 10 dinosaurs for the island map. Now these aren't the top 10 toughest, these aren't the top 10 of best gathering, although there are quite a few gathering dinosaurs on this list. These are the ones that you get the biggest bang for your buck on the island map. Now, I'm not talking about any of the other maps, just the island, just the base game. Now, I went and I asked a bunch of people in Discord and online uh, what their favorite dinosaurs were, and I assembled this list based on that feedback. So, hey, let's jump into it. Coming in at number 10 is the Ichthyornis. Yeah, these little annoying guys that like to steal your narcotics on the beach. These guys are my number 10. Not only are these guys really effective at helping you tame a lot of stuff in the lower levels, but also as you get higher levels, they make it so where kibble is it's still needed, but it's not as needed as it was. You can actually use these guys to get prime meat from a dodo, or you can also get a, use them to get prime fish meat from a regular coelacanth. These guys are amazing, and it's why they're at number 10 on my list. These guys are traditional knockout tame. You can either uh, bolo them and knock them out that way, or you can knock them out uh, while they're flying in the air. Careful about your narcotics. Once they're out, you tame them with either uh, um, fish meat, prime fish meat, or kibble. Next on the list is the Parasaur. I know, the humblest of creatures. These guys, you can actually get the uh, saddle for these guys crafted at level 9. It's not too hard at all. Uh, these guys, you can either, you find them in the wild, you can either bullet them or you can run them down and you can knock them out that way. I would suggest using either a regular bow with trank arrows, a slingshot, uh, you could even use a club, a crossbow. Uh, just make sure that you don't do too much damage to it, but then again, these guys are pretty resilient. Once you have these guys tamed, you can actually enable them in turret mode, so where you can uh, notify you of all sorts of bad things coming up on you, which opens up a world of different uses for these guys. Parasaurs are actually really cool, and the uses you can use these for are absolutely amazing, just being able to know where certain dinosaurs are located at on the map at any time, just by having a Parasaur call them out. All right, Parasaurs are generally tamed with uh, either Mezzo Berries, you can use basic kibble, or you can even just put crops in their inventory and they'll tame up really effectively. Mezzo Berries are generally what I use. Use whatever you like. Next on this list is the Dodicarus. Not too bad. I actually kind of really like these guys. Now, you can uh, get the saddle for these guys at level 34. It's actually pretty easy to craft. Once you have one of these, or once you find one of these out in the wild, I would look for them in the craggy hilltop areas or where a bunch of big rocks are. Take care in knocking them out because if you do too much damage to them, they'll ball up and it makes it really hard to tame them afterwards. So uh, my recommend would be either a rather high level crossbow or just a long neck and knock them out that way. Uh, when you find them out in the wild, you don't have to have the highest level one of these guys because a smaller level Dodicarus will still get you this, um, almost the same amount of stone. They'll get you stone just as fast and it may take you a few more rocks, but they'll still get you a ton of stone. It's more than you can get with a pick. You tame these guys with either Mezzo Berries, Crops, or just regular Kibble. Coming in at number 7 is the Ankylosaurus. These guys are amazing and nothing on the island gathers metal faster than these guys. It's rather impressive. You can unlock their saddle at level 36 and when you're looking for these guys, I would suggest almost the exact same as the Dodicarus. Look for them in the craggy bits or sometimes you can even find them down over on the beach or also on Herbivore Island down in the very bottom corner of the map. Uh, once you have these guys spotted, you can knock them out with uh, just a regular bow. With 
with trank arrows or a crossbow. Uh, just make sure you shoot for their head, back up, because they'll never be able to hit you, and just kind of kite them around in an area. Um, once you have them knocked out, use um, either measure berries, regular kibble, or crops to tame them. All right, coming in at number six on this list is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I love these guys. You can learn their saddle at level 74. It takes a little bit to get there, but once you actually do, oh my gosh, the feeling of riding one of these guys, it's so good they made an achievement after it. It's pretty impressive. All right, you can find these guys spread all throughout the island, sometimes sneaking up on you when you least expect it. I would recommend, if you're going to knock these out, use a long neck. Definitely use a long neck. You need to have them uh, get as much torpor on them as possible. Once they're knocked out, you can tame them with either uh, regular meat, prime meat, raw mutton, or also exceptional kibble. Uh, when you actually have these guys tamed, you can make, they, they, the roar is so good, you can make other dinosaurs around you poop. It's pretty cool. And, uh, when you're taming up for a boss army, uh, a nice red Rex army is absolutely impressive. So that's why these guys come at number six. All right, coming in at number five, the Baryonyx, one of my personal favorites. These guys are absolutely amazing. I've done at least 10 videos on just how good these guys are when you want to solo the caves. It's extremely impressive what just a simple Baryonyx will do for a solo game player or, you know, just any one that wants to go through and run the caves, wants to go tame Basilosauruses, anything of the sort. Paired with their natural regeneration, these guys are, yeah, it's it, it's easy to see just how, uh, how much I love these guys. All right, and uh, how you tame these guys? Well, you can knock them out, simple knockout method. You can trap them if you want. Uh, I would recommend using a crossbow or maybe a long neck. You unlock their saddle at level 49, which is kind of in the earlier game, which makes it even more impressive. When you uh, are taming these guys, you you have to use either fish meat or prime fish meat or also their favorite regular kibble. All right, next on the list, we have number four, the Therizinosaurus. If there was one dinosaur that screamed, I want to be the jack of all trades and excel at all of them, it would be the Therry. Now, the Therizinosaurus, it's my number one boss dino when it comes to the island. These guys are absolutely insane at just the um, way they can take down bosses. Um, plus, also pair them with veggie cakes, and they'll be able to stay keep healed the entire time. Also, uh, not only... Um, do you learn the saddle at level 69, but you can also uh, use these guys to gather up just about everything. If there's one dino that you could go on that would just be your end-all be-all gatherer, if, if they could gather metal and stone, they would be even better, but unfortunately they can't. But for now, uh, these guys come in at number four because these guys are absolutely amazing and you can even level up just how much they can gather. You can tame these guys with measure berries, crops, and exceptional kibble. All right, coming in at number three is another one of my personal favorites, the Basilosaurus. These guys are amazing. You unlock their saddle at level 60, which is not too far on, but uh, these guys are absolutely 100% a passive tame. But once you do, you tame these guys with either exceptional kibble, raw meat, uh, Prime, raw prime meat or raw mutton if you wish uh, these guys once you have them you can solo just about anything you want to underwater now if um, are they absolutely required for going underwater no not at all but if you want to be able to do everything on one dino underwater a basilosaurus is the tame that you want and also once you get one of these and you breed them and then you get 100% uh, imprint on it it becomes even that much better you can solo the underwater caves you can solo um alpha moses you can solo alpha tusos they're that impressive all right coming in at number two. Oh my gosh the thylacolio you unlock the saddle at level 51 and these guys are the epitome of mid-game tame these guys can do it 
all. Uh, and if they can't do it, the next on the list can do it. Now, a thylacolio, you generally tame them with cooked lamb chops or ex extraordinary kibble. I would not use anything else at all because the taming effectiveness will tank now if you're having problems finding these guys grab an argent grab a parry and then take it through the redwoods find a thyla on a tree put the parry away and go knock that thyla off the tree then you can take it you can drag it to a taming pen that you have either built out on the beach or on a raft that's out on the river and then you can uh, lure it into it that way and knock it out. I would pref I would recommend if you're gonna knock it out, either use a high level crossbow or a long neck for it. It just makes everything so much easier. But once you have these guys, you have your own self-contained taming pen. You can knock out Rexes while sitting on the back of it. You can knock out just about anything sitting on the back of it, but don't, stay away from Gigas. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, these guys are my number one favorite dino other than the next one. But, uh, Thyla, there's a reason when I'm recording my series that, that I will take and I will breed and I will imprint a Thyla and I will latch onto that one Thyla as my go-to dino. They are that great. I love Thyla Colio number two, and it's almost tied with the next one. All right, last on the list, Argentavis. These guys are my number one dino. And like I said, it's almost tied with the Thylacolio. The Argent just narrowly edges it out. Uh, the saddle is unlocked at level 62. And the saddle, whoa, the saddle is absolutely amazing. Not only is it a smithy, but they recently fixed a bug in it where you can now use it to repair stuff. You can craft stuff inside of there. They have weight reduction on just about everything in Ark. Uh, including the kitchen sink. These guys, they can carry a ton of stuff. Uh, you can breed them for either high health, high stamina, high weight, high melee damage, or all of the above. And uh, once you have an Argent, there is a reason why I consider these guys Ark's Rite of Passage. Is because once you have one of these things, the game fundamentally changes. And for the better. Um, yeah, there's a lot of times where I will skip the Argent so I can ride my Thyla because I prefer the ground game a little bit more than the airborne game but uh, the Argent just adds so much functionality to the game. It's absolutely insane. Now, there are all sorts of different uh, traps that you can use for one of these things. Um, you can use a gate trap. You can use uh, a pillar trap. You can use all sorts of different things. Um, or you can just hunt one down in the wild and shoot it that way if you don't mind chasing it. It's not that hard. It just takes a good aim. But yeah, other than that, it's Argent's, yeah, the number one dino in my opinion, and also in the opinions of a bunch of my viewers. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the list. If you did, um, yeah, if you have any comments down for uh, any changes you would like to have made with the list, if you would have made it a little bit differently, let me know in the comments down below. I really appreciate that. But before we leave, I'd like to add a couple honorable mentions. One, the Equus. The Equus is absolutely amazing and would be on this list if it was a lot easier to tame on the island. But with such uh, hard to get to uh, spawn spots, uh, there's no way I could justify having it on this list. Now the next one, the Uteranus. These guys are amazingly good um are they absolutely necessary if you're doing the boss fights one of them is kind of necessary you can do the boss fights without the uteranus but the uteranus makes it so much easier plus also you get um you know, the best kibble in the game from them so i would just like to give a couple shout outs to these guys so hey, if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.